Hello, Mr. MacDonald. It's nice to see you. Thank you. Do come in. What can I get you to drink? Um, I was just having a sherry, but, well, there's everything here. Well, uh... Scotch. Oh, yeah, that will do nicely, thanks. Mr. Daintree hasn't... Late as usual. Honestly, if we're ever having anyone for dinner, you can bet your life he'll be late. Soda? Yes, half and half. Well, that's a hefty one. Nonsense. For a big, fine fellow like you. Well, I like to take things easily. Well, you just let your hair down sometimes. That's your problem, Mac. You work too hard. What type of social change, isn't it? Thanks. There is somewhere, the ones from Benidorm. Was the summer before last? Have you ever been there, Mac? No, no. It's Evan. Ah, here it is. That's me, as brown as a berry. <laughs> I've only got a thing about me going topless. But, I mean, everybody does nowadays, don't they? Mm. I've put on a few pounds since then, haven't I? Who's the fella? Oh, that's Carlos. What a carry-on. He was such good fun. You know, just good company. Hey, that's me. Windsurfing? <laughs> I mean, honestly, I can get talked into anything. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be any Mr. Daintree. Do you believe? I don't think Vernon ever left his bar stool. Well, the food doesn't agree with him, and well, he ate the song. Left me to my own devices. I was grateful for small mercies, really. You see, well, Vernon can be very unfeeling. And there comes a point when I just long for a bit of attention. I mean, any woman would. Well, you see, he just doesn't seem to be aware of my needs. As a person, I mean. I can't believe that. Well, you should. It's the absolute truth. Anyway, that's why I decided to find happiness wherever I could. I mean, that fellow Carlos, for instance, he's a very sensible sort of fella. We just had a really good time on holidays, and we just said our goodbyes. No hang-ups. I can't think that there's any harm in that. Can you? Oh, no, no. Good. It's a bit late, isn't it? He's not coming. What? Uh, not coming home for dinner. He's not coming home at all. He's away on business in Nottingham. Well, what am I doing sitting here waiting for him? You're not. I've been waiting for you. I suppose you think... Oh, it's not bad. See, when I care about somebody, I don't stop to think what's right or wrong. I have to be myself. That's just the way I am. Oh, I know that. I really appreciate that. But you don't feel the same way. I've made a fool of myself. No, you haven't. Look, I'm flattered. I'm very flattered. And maybe if things were different. What do you mean, different? I'm sure that's very commendable. I suppose that's one of the reasons that I've grown, well, so fond of you. I mean, you've got Prince. No, you've got to do what you think is right. Look, why don't I get some supper? Supper? Look, you... Yes, I do. You were invited here for me. I'm not going to send you home hungry. Look, you pour yourself another drink. How about a refill? Oh, no, thanks. It's fine. That was a delicious meal. Nothing to it. I'm glad you liked it. You've hardly touched your brandy. Oh, better not. I've got to drive back. Not yet. The night's young, as they say. Yeah, sure. All the same. Yeah, that's more like it. Nice and cosy. Yeah, well, it's getting a bit late. Yeah. You sound like that song, Baby, It's Cold Outside. Do you remember? Mm, vaguely. Only in the song, she kept saying I really must go. And he tried to stop her. And it doesn't have to end yet. You don't have to go, do you? And leave me all on my own. Look, Alice, I really don't think this is a very good idea. I know you've got rules. But everybody breaks rules sometime. And well, who's going to know? You've got a husband. My husband doesn't give a damn about me. He knows that. 
He doesn't care about me, and well, I don't care about him. I care about you. It isn't a game. Not for me. Look, this is where I have to say goodnight. Thank you very much, but no thanks. I really have to go. You and your damn principles. Good night. Go to hell.